first of all, I will um, uh, begin by um, defining who uh, what Rasta means. Mm. Um, the Cambridge Dictionary 2016 defines a Rasta as a person who will normally do things that people will disapprove of, mm -hmm. but whom they will still like. Rascal, um, and that takes me to the Bible, where Jesus went to the temple and, and drove those who were selling doves and pigeons away and said to them, how dare you turn my father's house it's into, a, market a, into a marketplace? To them people, Jesus would have been a rascal. Mm -hmm. And when we look at John the Baptist, he, 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 he didn't like what Herod did. Herod um, divorced his wife and married his own brother's wife. And John the Baptist told him the truth. And then he was put in, in prison. To Herod, John the Baptist was a rascal. Wow. Wow. Peter and John in Acts, the book of Acts, the Sadducees and the priests disapprove of them locked them in prison. For me, I am sold out for Christ. And I stand to speak the truth without fear. Normally, when you speak the truth, most people are not going to like you. That's why Kingdom Rust sold out. <laughs>
And then, you know, uh, my main calling, my, 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 my calling is uh, an evangelist. And, you know, I sometimes I go out um, evangelizing, you know, telling people about that. So my the dearest to my heart is my relationship with God mm. and the gospel of Jesus Christ, to share the gospel of Jesus Christ to the world. How did you come about this ministry? The music and the gospel of Christ. How did the music, the whole music thing come about? Music. I when I was um um uh, doing my evangelism and going to church, I never thought I would be a gospel um, artist. But it all started when I was in Bible school in two thousand and eleven. Um, I remember during that time I was like, God, why me? I'm a woman. My husband is there. Why is he not the one doing this? Why should it be me? Because where I come from in Africa and in my, you know, where I come from, women are often not housewives. Um, now, in now, in you know, things have changed. I've seen women are pastors, but you know, all you know, we grew up to see men be pastors it's and not women. women. Don't so I kept on asking God, why me? My husband is at home. Why can't he be the pastor or why can't he be the minister? But. With my, you know, questions to God, um, God spoke and he told me, it is you. I want to speak to me, uh, the gospel. It is you. And then after that, I started um, singing in tongues. You know, I sing, I could sing, you know, 24 hours. Sometimes I understand the Holy Spirit tells me what I'm singing about. Sometimes I don't. But then, I didn't know how to to bring it out, I didn't know what to, I didn't even, I, I couldn't even tell anybody. Because um, I've not heard anybody, you know, singing in tongues. I hear people, uh, uh, you know, speaking tongues. You know, I've, I've not heard records mm. as in music, somebody singing in tongues. Mm -hmm. So I was a bit, not afraid, but like, you know, questioning God, what is this, what is this? What, what do I do with this? Until last year, I, will, I carried this since 2011, mm. until last year, 2018. But when I was in church, there was a minister uh, lady, my church is Eden Christian Center, Great. and it's in Ilford. A minister lady came, and you know what, to be honest with you, I like to cut my hair, like cut the size, and just leave it like Green Jones, you know, cut it skinny. And I like to wear different hairstyles, green, blue, because I'm a hair, professionally I'm a hairdresser. So this lady came to my church, and her hair was cut the same way my hair was. And the way she looked, I'm like, yes. And then when she was ministering, she said, Who? There's somebody in this church that God has put something in her, in them. That what, what are you afraid of? What are you afraid of? God has put the thing there. Why don't you want to bring it out? Is your God not big enough to help you? Why are you afraid? What are you afraid of? And I just say, yes, this, this is me. So the next day, I was in the studio wow. to record. I got to the studio, I was singing in tongues, but then amazingly, I was the worst started coming, like English and then the African languages that I speak in. I said, Lord, so this is you, this is how you are. I then prayed. I said, Lord, I can't, if I need to sing, I need to, if I need to minister, people need to hear what I am ministering about. So I need to be able to speak in a language that people can understand. And ever since, I get my melodies in languages that people, other people speak and understand. Ted, then with this, this I know that it was through the Holy Spirit that infused the music and ministration into you. Tell us about your songs. The very album launched, I mean, oh, tell us about it. 
Yes, so I've got EP, uh, which was uh, released last year, mm -hmm. and it's got five songs. I will just, I just want to highlight uh, the songs on the EP. Mm -hmm. um, the titles are I've got Oko Kroko. Wow. Um, what inspired me to write Oko Kroko was, you know, in this world, um, it is whom you know. Most times, even in the prisons, if you know somebody there, or the courthouse, and the, the people commit crime, but because they know people there, they get acquitted mm -hmm. and discharged. Mm -hmm. Hospitals, if you, someone knows a doctor or a family doctor, when they're in the hospital, things go so well. Or you have people who don't worship God and worship other stuff, they too, they, they rely on them to do stuff for them. Mm -hmm. But how about the people who have nobody to do stuff for them? The only person who does stuff for them is God Almighty, Okokoko, I call him. Nyami Obataipa, he's a good mother. I call him my mother. He doesn't discriminate. He doesn't care what you, you, who you are, what, what you are. He just loves. So Kokroko is, um, you know, one of, songs. one of my songs. Yeah. And then um, Confidence is that, you know, Confidence, I have confidence in the, in the Lord. Right. So many things are happening in this world. People are crying. Sometimes when you are walking, you can tell somebody's face, you could tell that they're crying inside. That, you know, I, Jesus walked on water. He, he made the blind see. He mm. raised the dead. Mm. So I have confidence in Jesus. Mm -hmm. That you know, very soon, all these tribulations and problems in this world will be solved. Wow. He will touch people's hearts mm. so that the world can be a better place mm. for us to live in. Mm. Then the Yemi day, the one I launched from the day. Um, launch, it was on the night, the launching was on the 9th of December, um, February 2019. Um, because I was a rebel and Jesus did not even look at what I did, my past sins and my, you know, um, you know, he, he, he didn't really look at them and still drew me closer to himself, showed me love. It makes my head sweet to me. Wow. Because I'm walking with Jesus, my head suits me. Wow. So where can, if let's say I want to get a copy or I want to be able to stream and listen to your music, where can I get some to purchase or where can I stream it? In Amazon, wow. iTunes, YouTube, mm. and then you've got Spotify. Wow. Well, as on you can, all those platforms. Well, can. as you can hear, Kingdom Rascal saying, you will get it on Amazon, iTunes, Spotify, YouTube. Definitely. I am going to YouTube to get it, and I will definitely purchase it from iTunes. Well, before we round up, I knew the lunch of Ayemeda was super, super wonderful. I enjoyed it. I mean, the dressing was very colorful. The music was fantastic. I could dance to it. And more so, I mean, there was food, people, food and drinks. Mm -hmm. That is what Kingdom Rascal is bringing into our kingdom. Well, we hear there's uh, something in the air that you are going to go to Ghana. Yes. To launch it. When are you going to do it and where? If you've got a place, let us know. If you've not got a place yet, don't worry. Tell us the date and we'll be watching out for the venue. Um, it's going to be um, in April, the 14th of April, wow. 2019. And it's going to be in Medina by the grace of God. Wow. wow. Well, it is in Medina, Accra, April 2000, and 14th April 2019. 
Definitely. Definitely, if I don't see you there, you are in trouble. Finally, finally, finally. Tell us all about yourself. What we should expect in years to come. Where can we rest up? Tell your audience, tell the people. Um, you know, blessings, anointing. It's not by my power. I did not call myself. If it was left for me, I wouldn't. But you know what? Jesus said, let's go. I was a Jonah running, running, running. But Jesus, I can't run no more. I'm here now. And Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the gospel, I'm taking the gospel to the four quarters of this earth. Thank you. I want the whole world to hear about Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I want to share the gospel, the love that Jesus had with others. Just let them know how, how lovely and loving he is. And then he's the only way, the truth, and life. Well, people, as you can hear, Kingdom Rascal says she wants the gospel to go to the four corners of this world. And she wants it to get to you that is there. And do not ever think that you, wherever you are, Christ doesn't love you. He loves you, and he will forever be there for you. If only you turn your back and go to him. Thank you very, very much, my dear lady. Thank you. And it's been so nice having a chat with you. And you Likewise. people out there, thank you so very much for having time and listening to us. We are definitely going to come your way. I save the date, the 14th of April, <coughs> 2019, in Medina, Accra. Mitimuya Medina. A year meter is going to be launched there. Watch out for us. And it's the full album now. The full album. Kingdom Rascal Volume 1. Wow. Wow. So you are going to have the best. Thank you all for having time with us. And bless you. See you some other time. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>